If anyone wants my secret, let me find my secret. Where's my secret, Chris? Where's my secret? Baby, baby. Daddy, what? A baby? What? Baby? We're having baby fever over here. The kids she? are having baby fever. You want a brother? Or a sister? Sister. Sister. You're sad the baby left? Shanann, who was 15 weeks pregnant with her son Nico, was found in a shallow grave. Their two daughters submerged in oil. A lot of people want to know if Watts could also face a murder charge for his unborn baby. The simple answer is no. Colorado does not recognize an unborn child, literally of any, at any stage, as a person for the purposes of our, our murder statute. So the easy answer is no. The father of the unborn child cannot be charged with murder relating to the unborn child. We're excited and Cece's on week two of potty training. Um, how many, do you have any accidents today? No accidents today at school, no accidents this weekend. She's had two accidents in two weeks, which is incredible. A lot of, um, yes baby, she can, but after mommy say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Bye. Say thank you for being thank you. the compliments. Thank you to compliment. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great day, and we're going to go celebrate our excitement over here. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Yeah. Court records are revealing crucial details into the murder investigation of pregnant mom Shanann Watts and her two daughters. Just before 5.30 in the morning, a neighbor's surveillance camera captures Chris loading something into the back of his truck. You. I mean, you're right here. You're safe. He's not going to get you. He's not a mean monster. My friends, do you believe in signs? Do you believe that we see signs in life that tell us things that we don't perceive in our own consciousness? Well, let me tell you, if you didn't believe in signs before watching this, you just might believe in them after watching this because this is pretty wild so let's take a quick look at the timeline for the morning of august 13th 2018 that was a monday morning from when shanann watts was caught on camera walking into her house as she was coming home from a business trip in arizona up until the point when chris watts had been summoned home by shanann's friend nicole and he arrived at home to be greeted by an officer. Then he went over to his neighbor Nate's house and they were reviewing security camera footage to see what could be seen on that security camera footage. Did it catch any footage of Shanann or the girls leaving the house? Remember at this point, 
the whole world, other than Chris Watts and perhaps maybe another person or so, believe that Shanann and Bella and Celeste and unborn baby Nico are just missing. They had just gone missing. This is so new. Nobody could have ever known at this point what the world was going to soon learn happened to Shanann, Bella, Celeste, and unborn baby Nico. What a horrific tragedy. When we're talking timeline, I think it's important to note that although there is no mention of it in the official Discovery timeline, the 111-minute phone call that Chris Watts and Nicole Kessinger held the evening of August 12th, just minutes before Shanann touched down at the Denver airport as she returned from her business trip in Arizona, happened from 9.28 p.m. to 11.19 p.m., on August 12th. Again, that's 9.28 p.m. to 11.19 p.m. Just two minutes after that phone call ended at 11.21 p.m. on August 12th, the note in the discovery says, Watts finally replied, holy crap, sorry, I pass out on the couch. That's going to be late. And this was in response to Shanann trying to let Chris Watts know that her flight was delayed. So now we come to August 13th, 2018. At 1.48 a.m., the note says, Watts phones logged the vivid alert of Shanann's entry into their home. At the same moment, the vivid video monitor captured Shanann as she walked up to the home and entered. Her friend Nicole was captured backing out of the driveway. Between 1.48 a.m. and 4.23 a.m., there were no movements detected on the main floor of the home, according to Vivint. Shortly after the 5 a.m. hour, that is when neighbor Nate's security camera caught Chris Watts backing his truck up into the driveway and making several trips from the house to the truck when he was loading the truck with his wife, Shanann, and loading Bella and Celeste into the truck. He left the house at 5.48 a.m. headed to Survey 319. In those early morning hours while at Survey 319, Watt sent a flurry of texts to his coworkers letting him know where he was, asking where they were. Certainly he did not want them to show up while he was doing whatever he was doing. There's a number of important text messages in here and I go over them in detail in different videos. At 7.40, Watts sends Shanann the first of his many stage messages asking where Shanann is at. While at Survey 319 at 10.10 10 a.m., Watts searches for the lyrics to the song Battery by Metallica. He later tells investigators that it was Nicole Kessinger that wanted to know what the song was about. She wanted to know what the words were to the song. He says that she has a range of musical interests and she was a little bit into Metallica. The lyrics of the song go like this. Lashing out the action, returning the reaction. Weak are ripped and torn away. Hypnotizing power, crushing all that cower. Battery is here to stay. Smashing through the boundaries, lunacy has found me, cannot stop the battery. Pounding out aggression turns into obsession, cannot kill the battery. Cannot kill the family, battery is found in me. Crushing all deceivers, mashing non-believers, never-ending potency. Hungry violent seeker, feeding off the weaker, breeding on insanity. Circle of destruction, Hammer comes crushing, powerhouse of energy, whipping up a fury, dominating flurry. We create the battery. From 10.28 a.m. to 10.51 a.m., Sandy Rusick, Shanann's mom, is texting and calling Chris, asking where Shanann is at. These texts and calls are intermixed with Chris Watts 
looking up vacation spots in Aspen and calling hotels. As word gets around about Shanann and the girls' whereabouts being unknown, Shanann's friends start to contact Chris by calling him, sending him text messages, led by Nicole Atkinson, who is, in my opinion, a hero, and he arrives home finally, reluctantly, a little after 2 p.m., and is greeted by one law enforcement officer, Officer Coonrod. So we know that here, Chris does a terrible job pretending that he is looking for Shanann. He pretends that he finds Shanann's phones. Oh, surprise. And eventually, Nicole Atkinson's son, Nicholas, makes his way over to neighbor Nate's house. Officer Coonrod follows, and so does Chris Watts. So let's just all watch together as Chris Watts flounders a bit when he arrives at neighbor Nate's house with Officer Coonrod, and they're watching the security camera footage of him taking things to his truck in the early morning hours that very same day. What's that? Nothing on there. My camera. Lay down. I'm loading my stuff up, my coolers, my water jugs, my book bag, my computers. Some of the tools that I have from the toolbox. I knew I was going to have to do some pumping, pumping unit rubbers today. So I was out so far. Now is this on con continually? Yep. Recording. Yep. Well, it's not. Is it motion, motion or is event. it okay? So it's motion. Any motion event that happens, I got. But I get cars driving from this street, from this street. And this is him at 517. Um, my detective just showed up, um, so he'll probably want to talk to you. He'd probably, like I said, he might have you call at the bank and see if there's any kind of activity. Because um, if there is any sort of action out there, on his camera, like, I would have got it. Like right. had, I had, we had issues the other other week when people were coming, were stealing stuff out of like garages and stuff like that. And I have parked my truck right here. I have here. park right here. Yeah. Someone, I can see where happened. someone tried to jimmy with a flathead screwdriver over there, and it was just like. But if any action would have happened, any cars or anything left yeah. your house, I yeah, would have been like right in that area. It should have picked, I mean, like, oh, it'll pick up anything coming down the street this way. You know where that trigger is? Oh, yeah. Okay. Watch, I'll show you. There's nothing on here. We've already watched that one. But, like, you'll see this car. What security system do you have? Oh, you can see this car starting to drive down the street. Right one. Oh, look. See what I'm saying? It picks up all the way down there. That's cool. He's next door. Can we go? I was talking about dispatch room. Yeah, we could go for. Yeah, we can pick up cars coming this way. I get anything coming this way and making this turn. So, and usually at night I pick up the car pulling a year turn. So, unless they pulled right here, yeah. but I would have caught her walking out. Diesel. So yeah, I thought nothing. Nothing for the rest of the day. No, that's it. She's pregnant as well. How far along? 14, 15 weeks. That's why her friend said it was low blood sugar. Now, before we go into the sign sent straight from the American Horror Story commercial, I just want you to notice something. If you were to take a look at Officer Coonrod's body cam clock, right now, when Chris Watts is saying, oh, and she's pregnant, she's 14, 15 weeks pregnant, fesses that up for the first time to Officer Coonrod, it is 2 
11.42 p.m. Now, I'm sure you notice all the while when Officer Coonrod and neighbor Nate are looking at the security camera footage and they're focusing on it, Chris Watts is pacing around looking like he's basically going to pass out and he's looking at his phone an awful lot. So if we were to cross reference material from the discovery, we will find out that Chris Watts sends Nicole Kessinger a message at 2.44 p.m. just after this moment right here when Chris Watts tells Officer Coonrod that Shanann was 14, I mean 15 weeks pregnant. And it says, oh my gosh, that's absolutely ridiculous. They would freak out. Since many of the messages between Chris Watts and Nicole Kessinger were erased, we don't know exactly what this message was in reference to, so we can only speculate, but we can hear what Nicole Kessinger has to say about it. I don't know if this is in order. I'm not sure exactly what this is referring to. I think this one at the bottom is, oh my God, that's absolutely ridiculous. They would freak out. That, do you remember when I told you, like I was always just kind of like incorporate his kids and stuff. I mean, even if it wasn't like directly like me and him, but just, like I was always thinking of cute stuff when I'd see stuff and I was like, oh my god, little girls would like that. I would show him and I found this box of Lucky Charms that was Unicorn Lucky Charms. Okay. And I thought they were really cute and I texted it to him and I was like, do your little girls know about these because they're awesome? And I was like, little stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and I so to give the American Horror Story commercial that pops up on the screen when neighbor Nate Officer Coonrod and Chris Watts are looking at the security camera footage trying to find his missing wife who's pregnant and his two daughters when upon the screen pops up a fetus and some other things we're going to discuss in a moment in the American Horror Story commercial. This is all going on while Chris Watts is texting with his mistress about who knows what that culminates into a text oh my gosh, that's absolutely ridiculous. They would freak out. That is explained by Nicole Kessinger by, well, you just heard it. So if this American Horror Story commercial is a sign, and if it is a sign that was sent from Shanann to be like, hey, yeah, don't forget us. We were of this earth just a few hours ago, and we are no longer of this earth because of you, jackass. It makes all the more sense to me that it happens in that timing. So, unless they pulled right here, yeah. but I would have caught her walking out. Diesel. You're good. But yeah, I thought nothing. Nothing for the rest of the day. No, that's it. pregnant as well. How far along? 14, 15 weeks. Now I know that many people have caught the fetus coming up on the screen at that moment, but whoa, did you see what followed? Nothing for the rest of the day. No, that's it. She's pregnant as well. How far along? 14, 15 weeks. Let's watch that in slow motion.
Wow, that is truly incredible. Please leave a comment letting us know what you think. We all want to know what you think. And do you believe that this commercial, this American Horror Story commercial that played at just the right time in front of Chris Watts' very eyes, in front of the eyes of law enforcement, do you think this was a sign?